it's your boy it's Elliot welcome back to another Halo video and guess what the Sentinels Sentinels is just a group that just keeps on giving so if you've been following my videos I know this is new and there's not a lot of videos so if you've just been following me from the get-go you have seen that the Sentinels have been accused for cheating one of their players world 2 got suspended is no longer eligible for the event Sentinels were not about to even play the event because they were not able to fill the four people that they had been grinding with and earned the first place seed with. Speaking of first place seeds, they had to forfeit their first place seed going into the Halo event because of Royal 2's, we'll call it finagling of the servers. However, in the dark of the night, something swooped down to save the day and that vigilante, we'll call him, is formal. <laughs> Formal has dropped SSG, Space Station Gaming, and has joined the Sentinels. Personally, as a Formal fan, I see it as a good move for him because if you want to play at the Rally event and have the best chance of winning, you're going to want to play for Optic, for Cloud9, or for Sentinels, right? Those are going to be the top three, arguably the best three teams in Halo right now with the best players in it. And instead of me telling you guys why it's such a good move for Optic Formal, why well, don't I allow you guys to hear it from him first? Oh, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, chat. Like, I've I've just, like, seen a lot of careers over the years. It happened a lot in COD where I just saw people team with friends forever when, like, they could have, like, very well gotten on better teams if they would have just, you know, if they took the opportunities that were presenting themselves. But because they want to be, like, quote-unquote loyal, like, they end up getting fucked for it and it fucks, it hinders their career, you know? You don't <laughs> You don't want to look back on your career and think like, dude, what, like, what if I just fucking took that one chance? If not permanent, why move? Just curious, because like, I'm still like deciding if I even want to play Halo for the whole fucking year. You know, I'm still like debating that. Um, and like, I, I just want to do like the best I can at Raleigh, and this is obviously the best chance I have to do that. You know, the best chance to win. Like it's Sentinels, you know. Mm. It's an opportunity you just should never pass up. It'll also, and if I do plan on playing after this, and like, it'll be like even better to have like this like under my resume, you know? Like I played with Sentinels, like makes a difference when you're like looking for teams and shit. Now I feel like Formal is trolling us a little bit when he says that he doesn't know if he wants to even play competitive Halo for the rest of the year. But at the same time, I feel like there is some truth behind it because he did just retire from the Call of Duty scene this past season from Cold War. And hearing his conversations on Vanguard, I think he's pretty pleased with him retiring. But as a competitor myself, I know that once a competitor, you're going to want to find competition throughout life. And if you can find it within content creating, great. But Formal has probably one of the straightest shots in Halo. He's one of the sickest players as of right now off the launch of the game. With a little time under his belt, he might potentially be the best player within Halo. I could see him going full-time, at least for this year, going full-time in Halo Infinite. So where do I go after Sin? Who knows, bro? Who knows? It, I'm still deciding if I want to keep playing after after Rally. What are you doing here? The fuck? I gotta spawn green and wrap day. Am I afraid to step on toes on Sentinels? No. Like I said, I've known these guys for a really long time. I know they respect like what I if I say something too, like if I were to bring something up that we need to change or that we could be better for the team, then they'll listen. I'm not just like some random like pickup. Literally fucking formal. They're gonna listen. As long as I'm not saying some faded shit. I mean, so after even hearing that from the man himself, he really knows those guys. He he vibes with them very well. He feels like they're gonna listen to the input that he has to say and that they're gonna listen. Unless he's on some faded crap, but you know, that's gonna be here nor there. I want you guys to let me know down below what do you think of this move, formal to Sentinels? He's Optic Gaming Forever. How do you guys feel about it? I'd love to know in the comments down below. I'll see all of y'all beautiful faces in the next video, which may be today, which may be tomorrow. I don't know. I'm working on a lot of these.